Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Hi, I'm Desiree. And we're bringing you this week's Rising Tide West Coast Swing Guide. This week on the guide, we're on week two of our unconventional wrap-up series where we talk to you about wraps in West Coast Swing that aren't often done. On our second week, we're still going forward with a leader's wrap, but this time we are bending the slot. We'll talk it through, lead follow, and then dance it for you. To demo. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, one, and two. From the other side, one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, one, and two. Breaking this down for our leaders, those first four counts are pretty much our basic left side inside turn with one key difference on count four. When you'll notice is here on four, I'm thinking about trying to land my follower a little bit towards my left side. That's because I'm going to be spinning, and it's much easier for me to spin in a straight line past my follower than to try to spin around. From here, I'm going to be stepping out with my right foot, doing about half a turn here, and then I'm turning on my right foot. This whole time, I'm thinking about turning into my arm, kind of like a spool of thread. That's what's really producing the lead for this next part of the pattern. I step out for six. At this point, I've gotten my follower going forward. From here, I'm really just getting out of the way. I'm gonna do that by crossing over on seven, small step back from eight, and then tripling it up nine and 10. What you'll notice if we show this one more time is a little bit of arm styling through that spin. Just like we talked about last time with the leader's turn, I'm thinking about keeping this arm really nice and close to my own head, at least until I've cleared my followers, and then it can drop down. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. For our followers, there are two key things we're after. First is a connection, which helps our leader bend that slot, and the second is the footwork to make it happen, including if you're up for it, a fun styling on the anchor. So first, the connection that talked about on count four, he is taking me off of the slot in order for him to spin through and downline the slot. So we followers want to think about dancing this move on rails as opposed to a line. When we go to count four, two, three, and four, instead of walking out the pattern that I was taught to do in my beginner class and go down a line, maybe even regardless of what I'm feeling in the connection, I want to honor that connection. Matt has not told me to go here. His connection is asking me to fill the space out, allowing him to space the pass. So that's the first thing. Then if we go to five and six, there's another connection moment here where Matt is pulling me around and forward on the diagonal. So I want to think about, I've been pulled forward, I've been asked to come forward, that is a lead. And if I'm given no other lead than that, I'm going to continue that forward diagonal movement as I walk around. It should feel like we are tethered together through this connection, and this connection is pretty strong. Not quite the connection that we have on the anchor, but pretty close to it all the way around. So in other words, I'm not afraid to go around my leader or to get off the slot when my leader asks me. The final piece of this is, of course, our footwork. So footwork, very content, uh, conventional until count four. Walk, walk, triple step on four. Remember, in order for our bodies to stay connected, our feet have to catch us, which requires us to not only go back on four, but to take that back to the diagonal to fill out the bent slot connection. From here, when my leader spools around, I'm going to take a step slightly back on my left foot for count five, in place with my right foot for count six, and then as my leader begins to spool me around, forward on that diagonal, four count six. Here after that, in order to honor the connection and maintain a nice look with my feet, I'm going to make sure that I take single steps with my right foot, then my left. My right foot will be really creating a rim kind of around the slot connecting. My left foot is going to stay inside the partnership all the way around, which is, gives me the opportunity for that really fun anchor. When I get to this point, instead of walking around, which is always an option, I can keep my left foot inside of our connection here. And as my leader settles and leads the next thing, I can pull that around for a really cool look. Showing this whole pattern one final time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, and two. 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. That was your guide. Thank you everyone for tuning in. You can check us out online at risingtideswing.com. We're also on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter as Rising Tides Wing Studio. Bye!